Hi, Dr. Rudy Cashman. Welcome to the show, which will be today uh, about preventing, stopping, reversing type 2 diabetes. And I, I will explain this to you, what diabetes is all about, uh, because it causes so many diseases. You don't want any of those. And I can teach you uh, how to prevent it in the first place, and if you get it, how you can reverse it, get rid of it within a month or so if you do what I ask you to do. So be open-minded, okay? I would say, and you will not believe what I tell you, uh, is that probably 80 to 90 percent of the people are diabetic, yes. And that's not just in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We have one of the worst rates, uh, but it's throughout the country and it's throughout the world. I eat breakfast once a week at a, at, at a place and the, and the price of the food is excellent, the quality is excellent, but I, I look at the people that sit down and to eat because my eyes are too educated, <laughs> can't help myself, uh, and, and, and it's unbelievable uh, every person I looked at, I think it's diabetic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, and the people don't know, they're not nasty people, they're nice people. They were just not taught uh, uh, in the school system. I, I looked at the school lunch, they're feeding the kids today uh, uh, cinnamon buns. Mm -hmm. They drink juice from orange juice, and that's sugar, they should eat their orange. Uh, they ca cause them to drink milk. If you read Joe Keon's book, White, Simply Whitewash, you would never uh, uh, drink milk. And they're giving it to our kids every day. They're turning our school children into addicts, sugar addicts. And that's why we have such unhealthy community. But it's occurring, frankly, throughout the country, more so in some areas than, uh, than the others. So let me explain diabetes to you. Uh, I mean, what's it really... Uh, all about. You have type 1 diabetic and type 2. Type 1 is where you make no insulin, okay? And you need insulin uh, to put sugar in your cells to stay alive. Uh, years ago, the type 1 diabetic, they had no insulin available and, and, and they would literally die. But if the reason I bring up the type 1 too is that if they eat correctly, they need very little insulin, uh, uh, and they could probably live to be 100. I know of uh, people that have done that, but that's not common because no one taught them and how to do that. Uh, and so that's 10% of the diabetics. The other 90% are type 2 diabetes, where you have too much insulin in, in, in the blood. Uh, and uh, and it can, it, it can occur in very young people. People don't realize that, is that even a child two or three years old can be a t type 2 diabetic. Mm -hmm. they, they need their insulin test, not just their blood sugar, their insulin. Uh, a Joseph Kraft, K-R-A-F-T, you can find him on YouTube. He even wrote a book. And he did studies at the University of Illinois. I'm talking about in the last century, uh, yes, yes, uh, and so this has been around for a long time. Uh, he took uh, about 12, 13,000 children uh, and ran insulin curves on them, uh, five different graphs, took it at different times, uh, and he actually looked at autopsies, he was a pathologist, and he realized that uh, children had changes in their body. Yes, so, uh, and we know information's out there. I, this is not something that, uh, just based on my thought or belief or one book, it's, it, it's, it's in many books, but these hospitals around here, uh, these politicians around here who've been bribed by so much money uh, by the f processed food and milk companies, that they're not going to change. You got to step up to bat, gather the information, like from my show, 
maybe look at some of the books which, which I will uh, present to you uh, to, to learn about uh, this. Uh, if you're type 2 diabetic, uh, your uh, blood sugar is elevated and they give you insulin. And, and these pharmaceutical companies, some of which are very well known, uh, and they keep the price of the insulin extremely high when it could be bought for much less in other countries, maybe 10% of the price, but laws, federal laws don't allow that. Yes, you're being scammed, you're being scammed. And the hospitals are obviously involved. I was reading in the Journal Gazette today that another hospital system is moving to town to make it more efficient. Well, if, if they're teaching the wrong thing, uh, uh, and testing uh, the wrong way, I don't say that's going to improve uh, an anything, uh, and especially makes me nervous since uh, a, a lady who worked for IU Health uh, figured out uh, what makes people unhealthy, uh, and she eventually formed Verta Health, V I T A Health, uh, in California. Uh, with a Dr. Finney, I believe, and you can go virtual or online and how to grow your diabetes in a few weeks. The company still exists. Yeah. So the information is out there, but our business model does not uh, uh, allow the word to be spread. If another health company is going to come in, you would think that they would uh, teach us, but now let's say right ahead. They, they already know that. Uh, and, and, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so, the type 2 diabetic, they give them insulin, uh, uh, which is a very high price, which drives sugar into the cells, makes the cells bigger, and you get fat. Yes. Where you inject, you can even see the skin raise up, so it's uh, uh, very obvious uh, when, if you taught the patient proper nutrition, they get rid of their diabetes, which can be done in about a month's uh, time or so. Uh, myself, 134 pounds this morning. Uh, easy way is to eat two meals a day. That You get rid of your diabetes two or three weeks. You're going to have to, uh, if you're on, on medication, you're going to have to check with your doctor, let him know, or get one of these monitors on your uh, Lifestyle, Libra, Dexcom, five, so that you know your blood sugar is going down, that you can do something about it. So I highly recommend that, but don't accept diabetes because diabetes can cause so much vast of the disease because the insulin is up. The insulin is the one causing most of it, from de dementia, loss of teeth, loss of hearing. 50% of the heart attacks, people grab their heart and they die. Yes, 50%. That can, that can be uh, av uh, avoided, yes. And now they want to do a stent to you. Some need them. Some it's life-saving, but the majority of the time, changing your behavior uh, and, and eating uh, proper food, uh, which, uh, which I will describe to you in this book here uh, uh, by Susan Ryan. Her recipes are in there. And I think I'll go into that in a, in a moment here. So uh, prevention is big time. And so let me pull up her book, uh, Simply Keto uh, by Susan Ryan. Let this be your Bible. If you're, if you're diabetic, please, please buy this book. Brand new, it costs 35 bucks. But you know what I found out? And I've done it many times, and many times, uh, underneath it, they have used books. And you can buy her a book for 3 to $5. I was talking to a church group of 20 people. I bought a major book, and he just gave it to them. And, uh, and, and I'm walking down the street here the other day, one runs up to me and says, Dr. Cashman, I lost 30 pounds, and I no longer have diabetes. Me and the church, thank you. That happened to me. Me being a doctor, of course, I, I, I loved it. I enjoyed telling the, the, uh, the, the story. Um, and, and what she really is doing, the first 60 pages, she describes to you what keto is. Ketones 
are molecules uh, made by the liver, like glucose is blood sugar. Ketones are smaller molecules, okay? Uh, but they have a lot more energy in them. So when you're eating the right food, the blood sugar goes down, the insulin level goes down because the blood sugar is down. The fat cells open up, they go to the liver, get cha uh, changed to ketones, these very small molecules. Your heart loves them, your muscles love them, your kidneys love them, your brain loves them. So you're now living uh, in nutrient ketone density. In the first 60 pages of this wonderful book, she explains ketogenic way of living. You've heard the term lately. You want to get rid of diabetes, get a book. It's a Bible. You can buy it for five bucks because I like to have something at home. And then, and this one, you really, what I love about her book is she then, in your three meals a day, you could skip one if you wanted to. If you do like I do, I do 16, eight, 16 hours. I don't eat eight hours, eight, but I'm not strict about it. Okay, but if you eat only two meals like I do, one thing nice about it is you can almost eat anything you want to and get away with it. Mm -hmm. Because in spite of all these things I teach and do, uh, now and then I like a dessert, I never gain weight. Matter of fact, if I ate some ice cream, I may weigh less because I'm in two meals a day, you can almost eat anything you want to. Mm -hmm. But anyway, she's got three meals. I think it's fine. And what she has in here is good food, good, good fats, good proteins, uh, and good carbohydrates, okay? And, and on every page, uh, she will tell you how many calories, how much fat, how much protein, how much carbs. Mm -hmm. Every recipe. And, and let me just, boom, cheesy broccoli bake. I mean, the, the food is good. It's not that, it, it, it's not good food, but it's the right ratio. It's the right ratio is what she's uh, putting out here. And she de de describes in detail how many servings, it's very simple, how many total calories, uh, and, and and if you just, if you were to follow her recipes, I want you to give me some knowledge first. Read the first 60 pages. If, and if you were to follow her, you'd have no diabetes within a month. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, I said about the monitor, because of your medication, your blood sugar will drop quickly. I mean quickly. Could be in days. And so I think a monitor is very helpful. And, and then as, as soon as your diabetes is gone, just eat this way. But, but it's not uh, eating food that you wouldn't like. I mean, it's just absolutely delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you want to speed it up, and, and there's meat involved, beef and pork, for example. It's not as uh, just vegetarian or anything like that. It's a combination of things. Uh, beef and pork here, for, for example, egg roll in a bowl, and uh, stuffed bell peppers. It, it's excellent food. Uh, I beg you, I beg you to, to uh, get this book. And, and, she's, and she's also on the internet. You can watch her YouTube shows. And there's psychology involved because certain foods make us uh, uh, feel good. And, and, and she'll talk about her opinion. She lost 120 pounds. She lost, her and her husband both were way overweight. They look like movie stars now. Uh, and her information, it goes across the world. It's going across the world. So I, that's why it's so important. If you want to learn a little more detail, uh, and keep it very simple, I wrote a book, Prevention is the Cure, uh, Preventing It, and, and that describes, it, it's on Amazon, real cheap, and in uh, and, and, and a little more detail, difference between type 1, type 2 diabetes, what sugar does to you, 
early diagnosis, kidney disease, heart disease are related, and a golden opportunity. You know, just store your statin drugs if, if you're taking statin drugs. It's good to know this because a lot of people are on statin drugs. I played pickleball with a gentleman uh, who worked at one of the hospitals in the intensive care unit, and everybody that operated on, everybody was on a statin drug. Let me tell you something. The myth of cholesterol, uh, David Evans' book, Toxic Effect of Statin, read those two books. You say, I don't want a statin, but don't stop it because I said so. I want you to gather uh, information. Last night while I was having dinner out, uh, I saw a guy sitting there, and he's a cardiologist at one of the uh, big hospital systems. Uh, uh, and uh, I know from some people who have gone to see him, he's got, got them all on a statin drug, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to know the side effects. Statins help produce disease. Just read the summary of Evans' book, Toxic Effect of Statins. Just read the summary, uh, and, and you say, they're giving it to me. Yes. And why doctors are doing that, I do not know. It's been going on, this con has been going on uh, for years. It's a con, it's a con, no question about it. Because I saw one cardiologist recently stumbling across the floor at, at the country club. Uh, his eyes went right, and I was reading these books again for a TV show, and I asked him if you ever read these books. He says, no, I can't see right. And are you on a statin drug? Yeah, I'm on a statin drug. Statins affect your vision, yes, and uh, c help cause uh, dementia. So statin drugs are important. Another website I'd like you to look at uh, is from England, uh, and it's a uh, public HCS, Public Health Collaboration UK.com, Public Health Collaboration UK.com. Uh, it's in England, they're way ahead of us. A uh, family doctor, part of a socialized system there, 9,000 patients, five doctors. He was overweight, she was overweight. Uh, his wife taught psychology. A patient walks in one day, he didn't recognize her. He'd been treating her nine years. Dr. Unwin, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Uh, and, but Dr. Unwin, instead of being close-minded, was open-minded. So he ran some studies with a Dr. Taylor. The English system, they saved medical data on their patients for 40 years. They ran studies, and, and, and then they realized uh, that uh, if they taught their patients proper way of eating, and I noticed Dr. Unwin now also has keto in his plan. You can reach him online. Uh, Dr. Unwin uh, Keto, or maybe say YouTube, Dr. David Unwin, um, you would get them right there. A lot of YouTube shows, like Susan Ryan and his wife, YouTube shows Psychology of Eating. Uh, a great website, and uh, Unwin and Susan Ryan, because I want you to gather some information. You don't just accept my word or one book. Uh, and then the Dr. Unwin and his wife and Jen wrote a, a book called Fork in the Road, A Hopeful Guide to Food Freedom. And, 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 and a very, very excellent book to read, real simple. You could probably buy it for, uh, three, four bucks online. You can look at their website too. Uh, and there's a lot of free information on the website I mentioned, phcuk.com, a lot of free uh, information. But you can join the organization They're in England. They've been existing two years. I'm going to go to one of their conferences. I was gonna go with this uh, recent one coming up November the 2nd or something, but my daughter has something going, so I think I gotta, gotta go to that. But I'm going to meet Dr. Unwin. They are 20 years ahead of us. Him and his wife now go all over the world to teach. And then they show a picture of them there. And you'll see these two people that had been uh, overweight with diabetes, uh, look like movie stars now, no diabetes, uh, no disease. And they're teaching it to their patients. 
saving the socialized healthcare system a lot of money because most of the things they were treating were complications of, di of diabetes. The patients are no longer getting that. So they're saving the U UK healthcare system a lot of money. And, and I'm going to predict they continue this up and other doctors in their groups start doing the same thing. Uh, it'd be unbelievable savings. Maybe cut the amount of money spent on healthcare in England in half easily. I wish we would do that uh, here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, but, uh, or in other cities. Some cities are doing it a, a little bit. Uh, some are changing. Chicago, I think, is changing um, a little bit. But when you look at it from a personal standpoint, uh, I beg you, I beg you, get your serum insulin tested, your blood sugar uh, uh, tested. Your doctor may say, well, why do you want an insulin? Because the insulin level is elevated for 10, 15 years before the blood sugar ever goes up. Oh, I'm not diabetic. Well, let me tell you, not all overweight people are diabetic, maybe 80%, but, but most are, but most are. But 30% of the normal weight people are diabetic. Their blood sugar may be normal, but the serum insulin is elevated. And the insulin is a cause of a great deal of vascular disease, yes. So the 15 years till your blood sugar is up, it's causing tremendous changes in your body. That was where they discovered that is in the Vietnamese and Korean War, they autopsied soldiers from those countries. And, and Americans, the Americans look of normal weight, enough to make, be accepted in, in the service, but they found tremendous changes in their body from vast disease. Insulin punches the first hole in the intima of a blood vessel. Yeah, uh, and then that starts the arteriosclerotic process. It's not the cholesterol, that piles in later after the injury occurs. Uh, and insulin is a growth factor, it makes it grow. And they found in the uh, dead Americans a great deal of evidence of, of cancer and vas vascular disease, and none in the Koreans and the Vietnamese because they were eating different food. Yeah, not a high sugary, high insulin producing way of, of, of um, eating. Isn't this uh, very interesting? So I don't accept, don't be like this, don't accept. Well, I have a normal blood sugar, get an insulin. If your insulin is normal and your blood sugar is normal, okay. You probably don't have those diseases. The reason being is that cancer could occur, vascularities could occur, well, the insulin level's up, uh, but uh, your blood sugar is not yet um, elevated. So uh, I encourage you to gather some information. Though I think the Susan Ryan book is an important one, and I think uh, uh, Prevention is a Cure, uh, a, a, a good book to read. You'll know more. You don't have to read anything else, but if you want extensive more information, which a lot of people do, uh, uh, then go to publichealthcollaborationuk.org and, and you will uh, have unending, go to resources, unending amount of other scientific information. The most famous people in the world are giving lectures. If uh, It'll take a year to get through all their free Benjamin Bickman is there. That's a good one. Remember that How Not to Get Sick, Benjamin Bickman. He gives a one-hour lecture there. Watch that one. That explains to you in great detail about what I've been uh, talking about if you need that. But like I said, if you don't want to, uh, just go ahead and use Susan Ryan's book, my book. That's all you need uh, and to have it in your hand. Uh, to follow it a little more easy, especially hers with all the beautiful um, uh, recipes uh, in there, uh, and you'll get rid of diabetes quickly. It's not 
you don't have to have it for a lifetime to keep on taking these expensive uh, shots. And insulin helps cause the disease, yes. And, and I have to say, uh, very critical uh, of the hospital systems, they are diabetic instructors, that they're uh, just teaching you how to use the medicine, how to use the monitors, and they're not teaching you how to get rid of the disease. I say get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. You can go uh, YouTube, uh, Rudy Cashman, Diabetes, I've got on there probably 700 YouTube shows which are going all over the world and I thank the library uh, for these TV shows and they send them to YouTube and then other, anybody can look at them uh, all over the world. So there's a simple method, the Susan Ryan, in my book method, uh, uh, if you want more information, uh, you can also look at uh, Public Health, uh, UK.org, PHC, UK.org, to get to an ending amount of information. Uh, it's not a bad idea to be uh, fully informed, but do not accept uh, diabetes. Well, I'm going to have this all my life. Type 1, yeah, you'll have that all your life. But, but type 1 diabetes, what causes a pancreas to suddenly die to get it? One of which, drinking milk all the time uh, is one way. An autoimmune reaction, the pancreas dies, uh, uh, is one way. Autoimmune disease will kill the pancreas. But if you eat the correct way, uh, you will need very little insulin, and you probably live to be 100. So it's, uh, it's the amount of insulin you take it. Some people now uh, will have these tubes in them and they eat what they want to and then inject themselves with insulin. Well, they may live a little better life, but they'll still die fairly young in the 60s and 70s uh, because changes are occurring because the insulin level is elevated. Uh, and uh, I give this show every two weeks, a half hour. So go YouTube, Rudy Cashman, uh, diabetes. If you want to avoid cancer, you can go YouTube, Rudy Cashman. Uh, next month is breast cancer prevention. Uh, I just did a TV show a little while ago here, an hour long about other cancers. A lot of information out there, so you must gather some information. Soon I'm starting podcasts uh, too. Uh, I've already dictated them. It'll probably be a few weeks before we blast them out there. Uh, why, am I, why am I doing this? I mean, after all, I am a doctor, okay? Uh, and it helps a lot of people. Hey, I got a purpose uh, in life. It brings joy to me, uh, and it will bring health and joy uh, to you. Thanks so much. Uh, for listening to the show. Uh, I do this because I'm a doctor and I love you. <laughs> so gather information, read the things I point uh, out to you, and I'll be on there again in two weeks. Uh, the healthcare system probably will not change, but you can change. You can change. You can change. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Namaste. -bye.